everyone, we are at Sea Airspace 2022 just outside Washington DC and I am honored today to host the Chief of the Royal Swedish Navy and the Director of Naval Procurement at the FMV, the Swedish uh, Defense Material Organization. Admiral, thanks for joining us. So you spent three days at Sea Airspace. Uh, can you please tell us uh, the reason for your visit here in the US and uh, what do you think about uh, the event? Yeah. It this is the first time I, I am at the Sea Air and Space because we, it has been COVID. And just because of that, I think it's very interesting to meet people and also to, to listen to different panel debates. But we have been in the mess hall as well and looked out for new materials and then uh, finding out some new solutions maybe in the future. Well, it's the first time for me as well. And it's a great opportunity to come here and meet uh, our friends from other uh, nations and also have to uh, the discuss discussions with them uh, about uh, the things that we are doing in Sweden and see how we can collaborate right now and for the future. Uh, Admiral, uh, the current uh, security uh, environment is uh, quite complex and uh, actually I remember uh, at the beginning of the year uh, the Swedish government decided to increase uh, its defense posture and uh, the Swedish Navy uh, was uh, had a lot to do with it. Uh, can you tell us more? Yeah, we have actually uh, changed our readiness, both back and forth, uh, during many years. I must say that it's not the new, but only because of the war in Ukraine. We have been uh, heightened or lowered our readiness, at least 10 years back. So, But we are busy. It is a busy environment we are in, and we are keeping an eye on it, on it all the time. Uh, you deployed, uh, I believe, additional uh, VSB class corvettes and other assets such as the coastal uh, defense systems. Do you train a lot uh, for these kinds of uh, posturing and uh, operations? Yes, we do. And we have a sea surveillance operation always ongoing, 24 hours per day, uh, seven, seven days a week. So if we um, have more assets at sea, or not, and we have the fixed sensors as well. So we have that sea surveillance operation ongoing. But we do that also together with others. We train with other and operate together with other um, countries all the time. Uh, what does the future holds for the Swedish Navy? Uh, first and foremost, I believe uh, you're about to celebrate a very important event uh, this summer. We are. We are celebrating 500 years for the Swedish Navy. And it is different big events we are having during the year. Uh, example in Stockholm uh, when we also have the Swedish, Swedish Nas National Day but there is very much ongoing I must say we have a procurement in our future that we will take after and uh, we have increased our defense bill a lot so uh, I think we need patience because it takes time to have everything set up very well thank you very much thank you uh, Brigadier General, uh, as the Admiral uh, just mentioned, you have uh, imp very imp some very important procurement program coming up, uh, namely uh, the midlife update of the VSB class Corvette, next generation uh, surface combatant, and of course uh, the future submarine, the Blakinger class. How challenging is it to uh, have those three major programs uh, running in parallel at the same time? It is. Uh, as you mentioned, it's very huge programs uh, and we have started up the, the submarine program started in 2015 and it's ongoing. There are two uh, subs being produced right now down in south of Sweden in Kaltkrona by sub, sub Kokums uh, and that's ongoing. And uh, we are in the pre-definition phase right now for the uh, VSP class upgrade, uh, where the main uh, changes will be that we now implement the surface-to-air missile systems. And uh, as you mentioned, also the new surface combatant, uh, which is also in its pre-definition phase right now. And it's, it, it is challenging. Uh, it requires a lot of uh, personnel and, and know-how and uh, close co correlation, collaboration with, with both the industry and also the Navy uh, to make this happen and to uh, deliver them in time. Do current events impact the requirement of those programs? 
Not the requirements. Uh, the requirements uh, are, are solid, so to say. Uh, we have been in, uh, well, we uh, don't change the, the, the requirements for, for the submarine system as per se. Uh, when we look into the future combatant, we have done some changes, uh, not due to the changes in Europe, because we saw them come a number of years ago, uh, but we have done them since we have a better um, combination between the existing uh, VSP class and the new class. So that's the reason why we have done some slight changes. Very well, thank you very much, Brigadier General. Thank you.